Virgo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to your reading. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you. Wow, so you got the Seven of Cups, Six of Wands. This is beautiful. Right now, you're being presented a lot of offerings. Your angels want you to know that they're bringing you several offerings at one time. Right now, you are very close to victory as well. Do not pivot or change course. You manifested something, you have a lot of good karma, and it's about to come to fruition. All you got to do is let go of what you can't control, which is the missing piece of the puzzle, and then you'll be able to manifest this. Because remember, your angels only give you as much as you can handle. They have to wait, wait, wait until you are ready. Because they're free will, they cannot make you ready. This is your life. Right now, they're telling you that there's something very big, like a gift that they have for you, a miracle they want to give you. But in order for this to happen, you have to let go of what you can't control. Because when you're resisting anything, you're resisting everything. So for example, you don't control the weather, right? So if it's raining, don't be like, oh no, it's raining. Just be like, great, you know what? It's going to be luscious and green. If there's traffic, just be like, great, you know what? I'm going to throw on an audio book or a podcast. And the most importantly, they don't want you trying to control the past because you don't control the past. So don't be like, oh, why did I do this? Instead, be like, you know what? I accumulated data. I know what to do, what not to do next time. And by doing so, now you are going to be presented a plan by spirit, koala spirit. And now you're going to be shown the yellow brick road, the fallible guide, the download you're looking for of this is how to get rich. This is how to meet your soulmate. Aha moment, the clarity will come into your life. You'll know exactly what to do. All right, now you got the fool and the wheel of fortune. And you're being told right now that there is a big amount, a vast amount of wealth, generational wealth that is your birthright. You are meant to be rich about to take place. You are about to be shown how to accumulate wealth through investments, businesses, mentoring, guiding. Someone's going to show you exactly what to do with cryptos. Maybe you're going to learn how to do Airbnbs, something big. And they're telling you that during this time frame to strive for progress and not perfection. And by doing so, you're allowing the universe to guide you. What does that mean? Because when you are waiting for perfection, you're never going to do anything, right? If you're telling yourself, I want to have a perfect business, then your fear of failure, right? That will prevent you from taking action. Even with love, if you're like, oh, I have a fear of rejection because I don't want to get rejected. You got to strive for progress. I have a, a rule in my life. My rule is I can, I allow myself to make mistakes, right? I'm, I'm human. I'm not a robot, but I have a, a rule that I have to be 1% better than I was yesterday. 1% might not sound like much, but it's 365% progress in a year, and that's 37x. Imagine making 37 times more money than last year. And right now, source is telling you that there is some sort of limiting belief. You got the devil, you got the death card. Some sort of limiting belief preventing you from shining right now, and that's really being attached to an outcome event, and you just gotta learn to love the journey or process. And right now, this limiting belief has to get clear. Lim limiting beliefs are exactly as they sound. They're false. It's a mirage. It's limiting belief. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a belief that limits you. I'll give an example. Like Maybe you are telling yourself, I am big boned. I will never be fit. That's a limiting belief. Or maybe right now, like for example, I used to have a limiting belief of, I came from poverty. I will never be rich. My family, when we came to this country, we came as refugees. We had nothing. And my dad had a paper route, right? Like literally, they built, they built an empire, a real estate empire for themselves afterwards. But we had nothing. We had like, for, you know what our pizza was? We'd grab pita bread, put ketchup on it and then just spread the ketchup and put that in the microwave and they get crunchy and that was our pizza that was our pizza that's how broke we were now just to give you an idea that that was a limiting belief you know here we are now you know we got amazon businesses we got airbnbs we day trade we got youtube life is good so right now source is telling you what are your limiting beliefs ask yourself this audit this right sit there with a pen and paper and write down i have a limiting belief of this this is false I am going to combat this by choosing to do this, right? Audit your beliefs, audit these uh, shadows. Now, very interesting. You got the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles. 
Your angels are telling you that there is a financial opportunity being brought to you, but you have to be decisive. Being decisive is very important because you can't have one foot in, one foot out. How you do anything is how you do everything. So if you have any sort of uncertain, wobbly energy, this won't work. So source is telling you, respond with reason, not emotion. Look at things from a glass half full perspective. Imagine right now, you know, it's one thing to manifest something, it's another thing to capitalize on the manifestation. Imagine you told yourself, I want to be shown how to do business. Next thing you know, someone comes into your life and they say, hey, you know what? I like your energy. I like your potential. Let's do business together. I franchise businesses. Now, imagine this person gets brought into your life, but if you're not ready, if you're telling yourself, oh, I don't know, what do I do? You know, that energy, you'll, you'll miss the boat there. And that's why Dragonfly Spirit truly transcends illusion. Right now, the only thing that matters is that you feel you are ready. Nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what your background is, your education is, nothing. All you have to do is feel confident in yourself. Know that you are never alone. Your angels and guides have your back and have a clear, concise image of what awaits. Now, you got the Page of Pentacles and you also have the Ace of Wands. Right now, new movement is what your angels are telling you. So there's a chance you might be moving into a new house, moving into a new job, getting a new job. And right now, Source is telling you that by finding strength and simplicity, this event will take place sooner rather than later. And whenever we overcomplicate things, right, that's when we slow things down. So it's like whenever life is simple, the path in life is meant to be simple. It's like you're pressing gas. Whenever you overcomplicate it, it's like you're taking your foot off the gas. And matter of fact, you're pressing the e-brake, right? Right now, you got to remember like, Life is meant to be simple. Like look at nature, how nature operates. When water hits a rock, it pivots and changes course. It doesn't try to push through, it never does. It just immediately picks the path of least resistance. And right now through owl spirit, see clearly now, your angels are telling you, that you are meant to make your life more simple. So maybe you have a lot of things that are complicating. And maybe right now you are eating meals that have 20 different ingredients when it needs three. I know I had this issue. Like when I was, you know, at first when I started working out, I was told six meals a day, protein, protein, protein. All I did was get fat, right? Sound familiar? It doesn't work. So then I said, I'm gonna do it my way. Now I eat, I eat in a four hour window, I intermittent fast. I literally eat one meal, which is cabbage and peas. I love it, I love the taste. Next meal I eat is a soup, uh, vegetable soup and the next meal I eat is cabbage and blueberries uh, frozen blueberries blended up together as ice cream guys not cabbage excuse me peas and blueberries and I'm telling you it tastes like like ice cream peas are very sweet so I eat three meals a day I spaced them out four hours they're all vegetable based and this is the best I've ever felt so it's like it goes to show you know trust in the magic believe in yourself white raven spirit this is how you get it done now you got the Hermit and the Two of Swords. Your angels are telling you that if you feel like you're procrastinating, it's because you don't have a heart coherence and trust yourself. In order to trust yourself, you have to be under life's purpose. Sing your own song. Remember the example I just gave you right now with my diet. Don't listen to social media. Don't listen to the television. Don't listen to, your, to, to, your, to anyone else. Listen to yourself. Your instincts were given to you for a reason. Right now, you gotta understand, fox spirit, think on your feet. This is about listening to your intuition. Your angels and guides communicate to you through your feelings, images, and uh, words, right? Right now, they're telling you to trust yourself. Your instincts are telling you to do something, but fear is telling you to do something else. Don't listen to the mind, listen to the heart. All right, Virgo, now time to get some money and love into your life. I want you to write down the following affirmation in the comment section. And by doing so, you're quantum entangling with the energy of abundance. You're telling your angels and guides that you have learned this lesson, you're ready for more, and they will bring you new possibilities. Write down the following words exactly as you see here in the comment section and let the universe know you're ready. Write down, situations don't hurt, expectations do. What are the odds we're talking about this, right? This is not a coincidence, it's a synchronicity. Write this down in the comment section. Situations don't hurt, expectations do. Don't be attached to an outcome. Don't be attached to an event. Learn to love the journey. Situations don't hurt, expectations do. It's your reaction, right? It's your expectation that, that it's painful. Situations don't hurt, expectations do. Write that down in the comment section, give this video a like. That's exactly how you shine peacock spirit and attract the abundance that is your birthright. All right, Virgo, now final message from your spirit guides. Let's see what their final message is. All right, so right now they say, you will be surprised. Ooh, I like that. So right now, ask with love and their answer may surprise you. 
Yet whenever they, their, yet w- whatever their answer, be happy. And this may surprise them. Hi, it's love and I. So right now, your angels are telling you, really, there is no right or wrong. Everything happens for a reason. Go with the flow, right? It's only weird if you make it weird. I'll give you an example. Again, the whole like reacting to things. You know, is something good or bad? It's only good or bad if you think it is, right? So right now, your angels and guides are telling you, use love, which always is the key that unlocks all the doors in the third dimension, and expect things to go well because they will, and quantum entangle with the energy of the outcome you're looking for by really focusing your awareness on uh, uh, approaching it with a more, you know, uh, neutral energy. All right, Virgo, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.